Hi, everyone. The internet tells me that Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg want to have a cage match. Apparently, there's some chance that said match takes place in the Coliseum. I have no idea when or whether this will happen. But in case it does occur, I feel that, as an ancient historian, it is my duty and responsibility to offer some advice about the best way to do it. First, a suggestion about the venue. The Colosseum was the largest Roman amphitheater ever built, with something like 50,000 seats and an elaborate network of cages and lifts beneath the arena floor. But thanks to earthquakes and medieval stone robbing, almost all the seats and most of the floor are gone. Sure, it's an iconic building, and I, for one, would love to see Musk and Zuckerberg reenact that famous fight between Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. But the modern Coliseum just isn't set up for spectator sports. Instead, I recommend the Roman Amphitheater in Verona, which is almost intact, or perhaps the one in Pompeii. If they'd rather keep things in Rome, they might want to try the Circus Maximus, or perhaps the Piazza Navona, which was originally the Stadium of Domitian. Now, I understand that Musk and Zuckerberg are talking about MMA-style rules. That would be fun, but it really isn't classical. If they want to keep things authentic, there are four options. Boxing, wrestling, pancration, and a good old-fashioned gladiatorial bout. Let's start with boxing. Classical boxing had nothing like Queensbury rules. As I discuss in my book, Naked Statues, Fat Gladiators, and War Elephants, which I recommend to all as pre-match reading, boxing was the most dangerous of all classical sports. Ancient boxing gloves were made of sharp-edged leather, which tore skin with brutal efficiency. There were no rounds or time limits, so fights continued until one or the other of the combatants collapsed from blood loss or exhaustion. In the arena, Roman boxers sometimes used a kestis, a glove loaded with iron weights or spiked with brass knuckles. This might not sound very appealing, but I point out that both of our prospective fighters can afford any amount of reconstructive surgery. As the taller and heavier man, Musk would have the advantage in a classical-style boxing match, as long as he could outlast Zuckerberg's lightning attacks. Musk might want to consider the strategy adopted by one ancient champion, who just stood there, guard up, for two days, until his opponent keeled over from dehydration. Option two is wrestling. The upright form of classical wrestling was quite different from modern Greco-Roman wrestling. It emphasized upper body holds and spectacular throws, like the so-called flying mare, in which a wrestler flung his opponent over his back. The first man to throw his opponent three times was declared the winner. Wrestling would be more familiar to Musk and Zuckerberg, and less likely to leave either of them with deep facial scarring. Here, Zuckerberg, lighter and quicker, would have the advantage, unless Musk learned how to execute the flying mare from close study of Greek vases. Option three is pancration, a brutal fighting style that combined elements of wrestling and boxing with a great deal of kicking. Only biting and eye, and eye gouging were banned, and these rules were not strictly observed. One champion, for example, specialized in breaking his opponent's fingers. In the Greek tradition, pancration, like wrestling and boxing, was done naked, so absolute authenticity, in this case, would be a bit unpleasant. But, as they say, beauty is pain. If our combatants go the pancration route, Zuckerberg probably has the advantage, simply because of his MMA training, unless Musk manages to floor him with a high-flying kick. The fourth and final option is a gladiatorial bout. Although there were many varieties of gladiator, the most exciting matches were between a light and a heavy fighter, between, in other words, a strong, heavy-armored man and a nimbler, light-armored one. The classic pairing was between a Retiarius and Secutor. The Retiarius was a light-armored gladiator equipped with a weighted net and fisherman's trident. The heavy-armored Secutor had a large rectangular shield, a helmet with narrow eye slits, and a stabbing sword. The Retiarius darted from side to side, trying to immobilize his opponent with his net and spit him with his trident. 
the Secutor parried casts and thrusts, and tried to maneuver his nimble adversary into stabbing range. This would be an ideal way for both Musk and Zuckerberg to play to their strengths. Zuckerberg has the build of Retiarius, and Musk is a born Secutor. It would be a great match, and wouldn't even have to be fatal. You could blunt the weapons involved, or replace them with rubber equivalents. If they go this route, I know I'll be watching, and I think the whole world would be too. If you happen to be Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg, please feel free to contact me for additional historical consultancy services. Anyone else interested by the Colosseum and gladiatorial combat can watch my videos on the Tolenstone channel, and check out my book, Naked Statues, Fat Gladiators, and War Elephants. Thanks for watching.